In this video, I'm going to show you how to redefine a block. Redefine or edit a block. So this is already a block and if I go insert block with this icon here, so you click on this icon for insert block. And you notice that my block one is already in there, so it's this block. If I click OK here, you notice that the insertion point of the block is in the upper uh, upper left corner. Now this would be a problem if I'm connecting it to a diagram which I want to connect it from here. So I can still redefine that block or edit that block and change the base point. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete this and since this is a block ready, I'm going to click on this. This is the block and then right mouse click and then you go to block editor. So when you go to block editor, you're going to have options here in the left side and, and also notice there's a scroll here. So go down to the very, very last and that's base point. So what we're going to do, we're going to change the base point instead of here in this end point, we're going to move it to this end point. So you click on base point and then in the command line, AutoCAD will say speci specify parameter location or the new base point. So I'm going to click on this uh, endpoint here. Make sure your object snap is turned on. So I'm clicking on this one here and now I'm going to close the block editor. So when you click on block, uh, close block editor, this dialog box will show up. Now AutoCAD is just asking, okay, do you want to save the changes to my block one, which is the block that I just created. So if you're happy with this base point over here, I just click on save and change the block. So now I'm going to delete that. So now every time you insert a block and you notice dragging the block is in the left endpoint now. Okay, now let's say for example, you're not happy with or you want to add something in your block or modify the block. So it's the same thing. You click on this block here and you know it's a block because there's only one um, blue square here, which is the uh, the base point. So right mouse click on that and click on block editor again. And you notice you're going to have that as a base point. Now let's say you're going to redefine this or do some changes. So for example, I'm going to create a diagonal line from here to, to here. And then I'll make another one from here to here. Hit escape. And once I'm done editing it, I'm going to close editor, close black editor, and then save the changes. And there you go. Now you notice that it, when you're changing or redefine the block, and let's say this block was inserted, let's say 100 times already. So when you edit that block, it automatically edits all the blocks that you, that you inserted. Okay. So just Remember that when you're redefining the block, all the block that was inserted would also change the parameters or the shape or whatever you change in, the, in that block editor. 